A pride of nine lions is due to be flown 14,000 miles to the U.S. after being rescued from Ukraine in a non-stop drive across three countries. The big cats were transported in a convoy from Odessa in the south of the war zone and driven to a temporary home in Romania. The seven adults and two cubs are set to be flown to the Wild Animal Sanctuary in Colorado after being rescued from a bleak future by two animal rescue organizations in a complex operation. Another two lions, one of which was rescued in the back of a van by a British man, are also being held temporarily in Romania and are due to be transported to a lush reserve in South Africa. The pride had lived under the threat of Russian bombs and missiles at the city's biopark, with the owners worried about being unable to afford the creatures huge quantities of food before they were extracted on May 24th. Further exotic animals could now be saved from the park in the Black Seaport. While the lions were in a good condition, Odessa has been blockaded and repeatedly hit with missile strikes by Moscow's forces. Lionel Delange, founder and director of Warriors of Wildlife, told Metro.co.uk, We went in to rescue the lions from a zoo that could no longer care for them because it was worried about being under attack. One of the owner's biggest concerns was not being able to afford food for the lions because it's a private zoo. While we were there, it was open but no one was visiting, which you can understand as they are in a state of war. Nine lions would eat in the region of $2,500 2, worth of food a month. Their future would have been bleak, grim, and if we hadn't taken them, we don't know what might have happened to them. We have been working with the owner and he's got a few other animals which he might release to us. I think we are going to get that call soon. In the meantime, the lions are now going to really good homes. They have only ever walked on concrete and a bit of rock and been behind bars. Now they're going to have open fields and bush and everything a lion needs for a really good life. Transporting nine lions more than 600 miles in a convoy of four vehicles across Ukraine, Moldova, and Romania under wartime conditions was a complicated undertaking. The team of 13, also involving breaking the chains, a British animal rescue group sedated and loaded the animals into crates for the journey to the temporary home in Targu Moors, Transylvania. Even without a war, this would have been quite a mission, Lionel said. We had a team of 13 and they were some of the biggest lions I have ever dealt with. One of the males must have weighed between 250 and 270 kilos. He was a monster. It took eight of us to carry him into his crate. We had to pass through Moldova because we couldn't take the route we wanted to as a bridge we wanted to use to the south of Odessa had been bombed numerous times by the Russians. The route took a few extra hours. We drove for 26 hours non-stop from the time we left Odessa to the time we got the lions to their temporary home in Targu Muirs. The lions were carried in three trucks, with a chase vehicle going ahead to clear traffic and being on standby for any other issues. They had a blue-lit police escort that passed through bombed-out areas and took them past huge queues of traffic leaving Ukraine to Moldova. A Moldovan security team then escorted the convoy through the country, clearing traffic and being on hand in case of an accident. Two lions, Simba and Mia, were already in Romania at a municipal zoo in the northeastern city of Sukeva. Simba had been in grave danger near the front line with the Russian forces in eastern Ukraine before being rescued by British humanitarian volunteers Tim Locks and Jonathan Weaving. A guiding principle of warriors of wildlife is that animals should never be left in zoos, so the next stage of the mission involves another complex set of logistics to fly creatures to natural habitats. The Wild Animal Sanctuary has two parks in Colorado and another in Texas, which encompass more than 10,000 acres combined. Under the plan, the entire group of 11 will be flown from Bucharest to Doha, where the pride will go on to Colorado and their pair previously rescued will head to Lionel's 14,000 square meter reserve in South Africa. He has returned home as he waits for the paperwork to be finalized and is looking forward to the new additions gracing the Simbonga Game Reserve and Sanctuary in the Eastern Cape. The animal rescuer, 57, plans to return to Romania for the planned final journey to permanent homes in September. The sanctuary will be like heaven for the lions, he said. Whenever we get rescued lions here, you can see how they enjoy it from the moment they arrive. They have monster-sized enclosures with lush green grass and no bars as it's all electric fencing. They will be living the high life from the moment they get there. <laughs>